For the Tsarevets in the internet there are a lot of videos about this place so I just give you the short information <laughs> about uh, this uh, touristic uh, attraction. So Castle Tsarevets, this is the castle by the time on Bulgarian Kingdom and this kingdom was destroyed by the troops of Ottoman Empire. Generally it was one of the last city which was conquered by army armies of Ottoman. When this castle was conquered, the Bulgarian kingdom stopped its existence and only and during 400 years it was under the power of Ottoman authority and only in the end of 19th century as a result of Russian-Turkish wars the, the Bulgarian was uh, sorry, won independence and became independent country country sorry at the entrance of the castle there is a toilet <laughs> and also the map of the castle how it looked like in the 14th century so you can evaluate its size uh, some small hints for tourists uh, who are going to visit this uh, place Sarevis for the first time uh, first of all, please use a uh, cover, <laughs> head covers, <laughs> uh, caps and so on. Why? Because, okay, on the hill there are some trees, but believe me, they don't save you from the sun, especially in summertime. And second uh, advice, please uh, take uh, water with you as as much as possible, because inside the fortress uh, you will not be able to buy any water. Uh, there is some point on the hill, but uh, phew, I don't know, the water was warm, so it would be better to take water plus ice <laughs> together. Also, the, inside uh, the fortress, for example, this is some small tower and the very, this very big flag, uh, which you can see from maybe all the points of Velika Tarnova and some uh, archaeological excavations. From the hills of Tsarevets castle you can make a lot of picturesque photos. By the way, uh, now we, we can see another castle uh, from opposite hill. Uh, as I see, the government began only began to recover its castle, at least its walls. So there was second part of Tsarevets castle. Now there is not any interest in as we can see, but I think after some years there will be full reconstruction of this castle. So oh, I'm tight a little bit to reach the patriarchal cathedral of the holy accession of the Lord. You need to cover some stairs. So, <laughs> be ready for this, especially for children and for old people, it needs some oh, power. <laughs> So we arrived to the answers for cathedral. There are some inscription in Bulgarian, Russian and German language. <laughs> it's very strange. Here there is not English. <laughs> there is. So this is the way to Patrasha Cathedral. But uh, before, uh, just some short <laughs> notes from the history. Uh, near the uh, Tsarevets Hill there is a small church, Peter and Paul. 
and in my video channel there is a separate uh, video about this uh, church now there is a museum so uh, initially there was a cathedral a patriarchal cathedral but then it was uh, changed into this church but when the Ottomans uh, conquered the Tsarevets, uh, they destroyed this uh, church. Yeah, but uh, the church Petropal near the Tsarevets hill, it still uh, it was uh, saved. Yeah, <laughs> due to some obstacles. Yeah, and uh, friendly speaking, as for me, this Peter and Paul church, uh, there are uh, uh, it's much more original because uh, you know uh, all the frescoes are still. In the 12th century, but this is this this uh, Patriarch Church is uh, fully renovated, but it's not church, you know. And as for me, generally, I expected something special, but there is some some kind of art gallery, let's to say, with pictures on the walls, which describes the main uh, the. Uh, uh, the main features or the main uh, the main topics of Bulgarian history. This is my personal meanings, uh, <laughs> but uh, as for me, we have what we have. Yeah.